Hi, I'm Andrew from the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust. I'm working on a project to see whether pine martins should be reintroduced to the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley. In this vlog, I'm going to talk about the, assessing the ecological feasibility of a reintroduction. That means assessing the potential costs and the potential benefits uh, to the local wildlife of the area. First of all, pine martins are native, so they were living here up until just a few hundred years ago. And they're a missing piece of our natural heritage, a missing piece in the wonderful jigsaw puzzle of our ecosystem. But it's important we assess the risk to rare and protected species currently living in the forest of Dean, such as our important bat populations. Pine martins have been around for over a million years, living alongside all the other native species in this area. They simply couldn't have been having a significant negative effect on species because those species simply wouldn't have survived. Instead, they evolved naturally in response to any predation. So the key question we need to ask when assessing a reintroduction is how does the modern environment differ from that historical environment in which species evolved together? A great example of this is bird nest boxes. There weren't any bird boxes in that historical environment. So will pine martins see them as an easy target? Well, there's a wealth of evidence from areas of continental Europe and Scotland about the impacts pine martins might have on uh, the natural environment. And we can use that evidence to properly assess the risk and develop uh, potential mitigation strategies such as predator-proof bird boxes if they're needed. So I mentioned that pine martins might be an important missing piece of our natural heritage and reintroducing them might have important ecological consequences and benefits. So pine martins eat a wide range of different foods from small mammals to birds to berries but they always eat what is most common in an ecosystem and that can be really important. So for instance by knocking back things like wood pigeons that are very common it can let rarer species thrive and this can be an important balancing effect on an ecosystem. So a good example of this is in Scotland, where pine martins are abundant. Woodland birds are doing much better than their English counterparts. Finally, pine martins might have real impacts on grey squirrel numbers. So in Central Ireland, uh, because of pine martins, grey squirrels have now been lost from six counties, which has allowed the red squirrel to come back in. An exciting potential future, perhaps, for the Forest of Dean and Wye Valley. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. The next vlog will be on socio-economic feasibility, which is simply what would pine martins mean for people living alongside them? I'll see you then.